Hi, Tenna. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, please introduce yourself. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I am Upendra. I am basically from Kathmandu district, Andhra Pradesh, and I'm currently staying at Hyderabad to pursue my technical course in the IT sector. And I completed my graduation in the year of 2022 from SV University Tirupati with the course of BSc in the stream of Mass Physics and Computer Science. And I have achieved my NCCC certificate in my graduation with A grade in the technical branch of NCC AV. And I am the I want an opportunity, opportunity to enhance my skills towards the AD sector. By my, my, by my hard work and consistency, I was become as a software, senior software developer or just in the year. And I am the hard worker and ability, ability to, do, to, do work, to do work independently with them both individual as well as, well as in team. And I am easily adapted to the new environment. And I am the quick learner with the positive attitude. And I have the I have a small family that consists of four members, me, father, mother, and one sister. Yeah. And my motto is try and try, try and try until I reach my goal. And thank for introducing myself. Yeah, okay. Now uh, let me tell. So basically this interview for purely automation testing. Yes, yeah. Okay, uh, are you already with automation testing? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, tell me what is automation testing? It is a it is a process to conduct to conduct testing on application by, by the software tools is called the automation testing. Yeah, okay. Now tell me some automation tools available in market. The most recent used automation tools are one is Selenium and mm -hmm. another one is QTP and UTF automation tools. Okay. So which one you can prefer in these three uh, uh Based on the advantages, I choose the Selenium automation test. Okay, why you are choosing Selenium and what is Selenium first? Because Selenium is an open source and portable automated software testing tool okay. to test for the web applications. It's called Selenium and the main advantages in the Selenium is it supports the multiple browsers and multiple programming languages and multiple operating systems. Yeah, that's right. And, okay, let me tell you, what are the components available in Selenium? In Selenium, there are four components. First one is Selenium IDE, second one is Selenium RC, and third one is Selenium Embedder, and fourth one is Selenium Build. Yeah, okay. No. Okay, what is Selenium Web Driver? Selenium Web Driver is an API. In, in, in Java, it is an interface, so it can implement the classes. In the Selenium, the classes are Chrome Driver, and Edge Driver, and Firefox Driver, and Internet Explorer, like this browser. So, to to connect with the real-time browsers and retrieve our results. Yeah, okay, is uh, RC still we are using? No, sir, it is replicated. For present, we are using the Selenium web Yeah, okay. Uh, name the driver? Because uh, the RC will connect to the script to first to the web, web server, then uh, it will connect to the web page. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, now, you told that web driver is an interface. Yes, sir. Okay, how many methods it was contained in the web driver? The web driver contained 13 methods in Selenium. Yeah, okay. Name them? First one is get method and navigate method and get title and get current URL and get window handle, get window handles method and find element method and find elements method and manage method, switch to method, close method and quit method. Yeah, that's right. And okay, now, okay, so. How many locators we have in Selenium? In Selenium, we, are, we have the 8 locators. Okay, name them. And the first one is ID, class name, and uh, name, and tag name, then in text, partial in text, export, and CSS selector. These are the locators present in Selenium. Yeah, you, you mentioned that export. Yes, sir. What is export? Export is an, uh, a locator and XML element. It is used to find the particular element in a web page okay. Is there any types in export? Yes sir, there are two types. One is absolute and relative export. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the difference between both? In the absolute export, we are using the single node that is called the root node. In the relative export, we are using the double node that is the parent node. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Now tell me, 
So, is there any syntax for relative expert? Yes, sir. Diagonal, diagonal, opening, opening square bracket, sir.